Hey, what's happening everybody? This video, I'm going to discuss the total cost of purchase and installation of my EcoFlow Smart Home Panel and Delta Pro Battery Unit system. Uh, since becoming a homeowner, I've been very interested in energy use, how I can monitor and measure it, track usage over time, and ultimately minimize my usage and utility bill. I guess I've turned into that stereotypical dad walking through the house constantly turning off lights in empty rooms. Uh, I've owned my house for almost 10 years and I've done upgrades with smart switches to help minimize usage and I eventually installed a rooftop grid tied solar system back in 2019. I really like the solar system using the Enphase micro inverters and the Enlighten app since I installed consumption transformers to monitor whole house consumption compared to solar production. This really illustrated to me the problem with solar in that you produce all your power in the afternoon, and I know I use a lot in the afternoon when the air conditioning is running, but that usage continues into the early evening hours when the sun is down. Uh, this led me to always want some sort of battery backup system to be able to use that excess power from the afternoon in the evening. Add in the peak pricing of the 4 to 9 p.m. hours and that increased my desire even more. In Southern California that peak pricing is about 52 cents a kilowatt hour. Uh, initially I had looked at the Tesla Powerwall but they were pretty expensive and I never found an option for a DIY homeowner to install it themselves. So when I saw the smart home panel and that I could order it online and even though they say it needs to be installed by a professional there's nobody forcing me to do that it just shows up at your house uh, and uh, you can go ahead and install it. Uh, also the thought of having the ability to track and control energy usage at 10 individual circuits was just too much for my nerdiness to, to resist. Uh, the cost of the smart home panel with two Delta Pro batteries is still quite high, but I saw that with the tax rebates and by installing it myself, I could get to an almost reasonable cost. Being able to take a Delta Pro with me camping is another bonus. Of course, it ended up costing me more than I initially thought due to all the miscellaneous pieces and parts needed to get it all installed. As you will see when I show the cost spreadsheet, the payback period is still over 10 years. I always shoot for a return on investment of less than 10 years. Uh, for example, my rooftop solar system has a simple payback of just five years, meaning it saves me about $1,000 a year in energy cost. Uh, and it really only cost me about $5,000 to install after tax incentives and things. The other factor that makes the smart home panel on Delta Pro with solar panel charging attractive is that it's entirely off grid, you know, meaning if the sol if the power grid goes down, my grid tied rooftop solar panels stop producing. But the off grid panels that are connected to my Delta Pros will continue to charge when the sun is out, even if the grid is off. This means I could keep critical circuits running potentially indefinitely as long as I get decent sun every day. I've also got a gas power generator as well that I could use for supplemental charging on very cloudy days, but in Southern California that's pretty rare. Uh, here is the spreadsheet listing all the components in my system. I purchased the solar panels used from Craigslist. Uh, being off-grid you don't need to have the spe any specific certifications or anything, so having these these panels you know, no-name panels, even with, even if the uh, labels are, are removed, as long as they work, it's fine. Uh, I, I did end up getting a great deal on the Delta Pro units. Uh, I originally purchased them for about 3300 bucks each, but they came with a free 160-watt foldable EcoFlow solar panel. Each, each one came with a free panel. Uh, but then I saw a deal at Costco. After I had placed my initial order, I saw that Costco was selling the Delta Pros for $2,849 each. Uh, so that was a big savings. And so I actually started to cancel my first order. Even though I wasn't going to get the free solar panels, I didn't need them. Uh, they would be good for camping or something, but I didn't need them for my daily use at home. So I figured, ah, if I could save 
you know, $450 per unit, it's worth it just to, to save it and buy them from Costco. So I started the return and I was going to buy them through Costco. Uh, but then the original vendor asked me why I was returning them. They hadn't even delivered them yet. I was just going to cancel the order. Uh, I told them about the deal I, had, I saw at Costco and they told me they would price match. So I came back and said, well, if you'll price match and you'll also give me those free 160 watt panels, then I'll go ahead and keep my order with you guys. And they agreed. So I ended up getting the Delta Pro for 2849 with a free 160 watt panel. Uh, another thing, the smart home panel, you know, I purchased that uh, and it comes with one infinity cable, which is the cable that connects the Delta Pro to the smart home panel. So I had to actually contact EcoFlow to purchase the second cable for $79 so that I can hook both Delta Pros to the smart home panel. And then all the wiring, conduit, and other miscellaneous parts added up to another several hundred dollars. I was able to do the installation myself, and that saved me probably a thousand dollars in installation costs. I know based on the amount of work that if I was an, an electrician, I'd probably charge at least a thousand dollars for that job at my house with the, the distance I was running and everything. Uh, when calculating the total cost, I included the 30% federal tax rebate. I thought it was going to be something like 26% this year, but then the so-called Inflation Reduction Act included a plus up in green energy rebates so that bumped the rebate back up to 30 percent. Uh, I also included the potential value of the two free solar panels. I'm considering selling them. Um, I've seen them sell on eBay for anywhere between 200 and up to even 400 dollars I've seen them sell. So I just estimated 500 dollars total in value for those panels if I wanted to sell them. Uh, the big assumption that I'm making here is that the kind of savings I'll see on my monthly bill. Based on my first month of usage, uh, I've avoided over 90 kilowatt hours of usage during the peak 52 cents per kilowatt hour time period from nine, or from 4 to 9 p.m. And since I charge the batteries for free with the solar panels every day, I just did a very simple calculation, you know, 90 kilowatt hours for the month times 52, 52 cents per kilowatt hour gives me $46.80 in offset. Um, I know this is oversimplified, um, so I'll monitor the bills as time goes on and just kind of see what it really looks like I'm saving. Uh, these Southern California Edison bills are really confusing, just the way they break everything out. But just using these simple assumptions, the simple payback for this system is still over 10 years. So from a pure economic perspective, I would not have purchased this system. But the side benefits of being able to have a detailed usage report of every circuit, of, all, of the 10 circuits that I have on the smart home panel, and then also having the ability to run off-grid, you know, it, in case of some major catastrophic event here and the, if the grid was down for a week or two you know I I would be able to keep my critical circuits going I'm pretty confident the entire time if this was helpful I'd appreciate it if you consider subscribing giving this video a thumbs up and uh, with that have a great day